Hello, and welcome to another tutorial from us here at Fly-By-Wire and our A32NX. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the MCDU, going through the steps that you need to take to get yourself programmed for a flight and into the air. So before we can go programming the flight plan, there's a couple of prerequisites that we need to make sure we've got. The first thing is that the aircraft is powered up. That could be on external power or on the APU. And also that the ADIRS adders are set to nav. Once it's aligned, we can go ahead and start programming the MCDU. So this is what you're going to see. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to clear the bottom scratch pad by pressing the CLR and pressing it again, just letting us know we're on GPS primary. We can clear that one more time. Throughout this video, I'm going to be talking about the soft keys or select keys. We've got the left select keys one to six and the right select keys one to six. We've also got scroll buttons, but we'll get to that as and when. So the real life airline pilots, they use an acronym called DIFF SPREE. That's D-I-F-F-S-R-I-P-P. -P. The first one to be in data and then init a so this is where we're going to first start the flight plan and the third final requisite prerequisite after power and the aid is that you need to have a flight plan now there's many places that you can find your route i use simbrief but there are other resources that you can use as well so i've got myself a short flight of simbrief this one is from cardiff to manchester it's a short leg it should make it nice and easy to go through the steps. So the first thing you're gonna do, we're gonna enter the from and to by using the keyboard. So Cardiff is Echo Golf, Foxtrot, Foxtrot, with a slash, and then Echo Golf, Charlie, Charlie. So you see where we've got the slash, it mimics the slash, which is up the top here. Once you've got this information in the scratch pad, you can press right select key one, and then return. So that brings us back to this page. If you want to edit the flight number, you can edit the flight number too. So I'm just going to put a random easy jet flight number and then press on the left soft key three. That will change your flight number. If you use the free text function of the MCDU, any pilots which also have it enabled, they can send you a message using this flight number. Cost and depth will be as per your flight plan for us it's 34 so enter 34 and then it's the left soft key or left select key of five and then finally cruise altitude this is quite a low flight so we're going to be flying at flight level 210 left soft key six and that will automatically calculate the temperature for you too so we've done the first and knit page we won't do the second bit yet so we've done D, we've done I, we are now on F, which is flight plan. So we've got our standard instrument of departure, which we'll select now. Is, so you select the key next to the departure airport, left select key one, then departure, going off runway three zero, and then we're selecting a Brecon one alpha departure. This will operate here. We, there are no transitions for this and we're just going to press insert right soft key six. So this then will give you a initial flight plan using the up down. You can scroll down the waypoints. So Brecon 1A finishes at Brecon, that's Bravo for Charlie in November. So now we need to insert the rest of the flight plan. Okay, so once we've programmed in the SID, it's going to take us to this page with Brecon being the very last waypoint. And now to program the rest of the flight, we go back to the OFP. In this particular flight plan, if we scroll right to the bottom, it gives you the flight plan here. Brecon 1A, Brecon, November 864, Monty, and then Mercy 1 Alpha. So to enter this, we click on Brecon. Then we're gonna to go to Airways, which is right soft key five. Enter the airwave, which is November 
0.864 and the waypoint is Monty. Into the two right soft key one. And then we insert that. And then we go back here then. We scroll down. You'll see now it's got the November 864 from Brecken all the way down to Monty. And if you wanted to compare that with the flight plan, you can see looking at the flight plan, all the different waypoints going down to Monty. So next thing then we're going to select our standard arrival, expected standard arrival. So again, right soft key one for arrival. We're going to be expecting runway two, three left. And then we're looking for the Mercy 18, which is just there. Select that. We're not going to have any virus, but you, you may have transitions, which you'd select then and then insert. And now we should have a flight plan which takes us all the way into Manchester. One thing to note is this waypoint here, USR, due to a bug within the Microsoft Flight Simulator, sometimes when you get to the last couple of waypoints, it will try and take you direct to the runway. So that's something just to keep aware of on your flight. So once we've done that, we can then go to the fuel pred page and we can select the right soft key three and this will auto populate the zero fuel weight and then zero fuel weight a center of gravity so there is our zero fuel weight and zero fuel weight center of gravity select the meet right soft key three again we'll enter that data so zero fuel weight plus our fuel of 5.1 gives us a gross weight of 55.3 and a center of gravity of 21.9. So we've done data, done init A, done flight plan, done fuel prep. So once we've done the fuel prep, we can then go to the next letter in the acronym DIFFSPRI, which is a secondary flight plan. Put in the mod, this is currently still in up so we can then go to the next one which is the R for rad nav in here you would set any frequencies for any nav aids that you need on the departure for example if you need to fly x amount of miles past or to nav aid you could lock it in here and also for the landing frequency if it changes on approach then you can manually enter it on this window here so then we go back to init B. So you press init and then using the arrow, you go across to the second page init B. We've got our zero fuel weight and our zero fuel weight center of gravity already populated. So now we just can add our fuel. So it's 5.1. And then press the right to soft key two to give us the block. It takes a couple of seconds just to think about it. So it gives us a takeoff weight of 55.1 with a landing weight of 54.1. So that is done. That's the init page done. We can then look at the progress page. It gives us our optimum flight level and our current cruise level too. And then we go to the performance page last. And this is where during the flight, this will change depending on what the phase is. So as you fly, this will automatically change to each of the relevant stages of flight until you land. But for right now, all we're interested in is takeoff. So we're going to be taking off with the flaps one plus F. So you press one on the numpad, then right soft key three, and then to generate your B speed automatically. Just press the soft key next to each one, which will give you a figure in the scratch pad. And then you press it again to copy it into the block. So one, two, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
127. And that is speeds, and then you set your transition altitude to whatever it is. In Cardiff, it's 6,000, so we can set that there. And the rest of the stuff for right now, don't need to be concerned about. If you just get yourself in the air to fly a flight, then that's all you need to do. You've got your init A and init B done. We've done the flight plan. We've got our fuel on board. Rad nav will be as required. Progress is good and performance is set. Set the flight director to on and you are good to fly. Thank you for flying fly by wire A32NX. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or join us on our Discord. Thank you.